Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video this week on how to make a stubby spark plug socket. I know if you guys have a sm small black Chevy with some headers on it, or really any car with headers, sometimes it's really difficult to uh, get the normal spark plug socket on the spark plug. If you can get it on there at all, a lot of times you can't. Um, I'm working on a 57 Chevy and it has some headers on it and I cannot get to four of the uh, spark plugs and it's very difficult to get a wrench on the spark plugs. Um, actually, I couldn't. So basically what I did is I was at O'Reilly's and I noticed they had some cheap uh, Chinese made um, sockets and I figured that the, if they were, since they were made in China, they were probably soft metal. And what I did, and I was right, it, really easy to cut with a, a die grinder and a cutoff wheel. I basically took approximately an inch, three quarters to approximately an inch off the bottom shank, which I, there's still room to take off more, at least a, probably a quarter inch if I had to. And I also, this part up here where the wrench would go was longer too, so I took approximately an eighth to a quarter inch off that section too. And then also what you need to do if you shorten this, I went ahead and drilled out the portion here that would normally be square for the ratchet. I started off with a 3 8 and then I went to a half inch and that basically gives you room to uh, for the uh, insulator to go through so you'll be able to have that on there this isn't the right size spark plug so we won't show you that but anyway um, it's really easy to do it took about 15 minutes I still have the rubber cushion inside there but that could come out also to give me more room if I needed to um, but like I said hopefully this will work I'll be able to put the 3 quarter inch wrench on here and get those uh, spark plugs out and um, I'll check that out tomorrow hopefully it'll work and like I said if I have to shorten it some more I can do that and uh, go from there I the cheapest one of these I found online was on eBay and it was like $20 so um, I figured I'd save a little bit of money and and make my own and hopefully it'll work and if you guys have any questions or whatever just let me know thanks